Last week, Lamar Norman Jr. stepped away from the team to enter the transfer portal. We are learning today, Sincere Carey has decided to take some time away from the program. And on top of that, Maceo Austin has stepped away for personal reasons. Neither of those players are in uniform. And so a couple of different starters today. Chad Baker gets the start. Toby O'Connor gets the start to go along with Tavian Dunn-Martin, Marcus Weathers, and Michael Hughes. Sometimes from a coaching perspective, less is more sometimes. When it comes into the season, I thought Duquesne had one of the deepest teams in the conference. Uh, I thought that Coach Dampron had an awful lot of flexibility. Now his rotation is shortened just a little bit. Certain guys are going to have to step up. A guy like Weathers is going to have to produce even more. Dunn-Martin played it down. And the hook. We'll get the first points for Michael Hughes and the Dukes of Duquesne. Catches the ball on the post, doesn't face up and take the jump shot, edges his way to the basket, and flows through the middle with the hook. Excellent patience as a team, and then they got it to the big fella down there on the block. Hughes is a problem because not only of his uh, because of his length, as you see the jump shot there by Cobb, but shooting 45% from the field coming into this game. As Navarro finds a way to get it to Aisi, the delay in the basket. And Fordham continues this run. It's 10 straight points. Brought back down for Duquesne. Dunn Martin, the senior, hits the three. And Duquesne's within two despite all of their early struggle shooting. This is going to be our home arena. Well, uh, we talked about the struggles for Duquesne, who's now two for nine from the floor. But Fordham, who started four of eight, is now 0 for 6 since then. Leaning in the left hand goes nicely for Amari Kelly. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Soriano watched over by Austin Rotruff and he created a turnover. Dunn Martin with speed, stripped by Navarro but got it back. This the no look dish in the jam from Rotruff. Great job, I thought, that time, though, by Murphy at setting up Rochoff with the hard penetration. He drew the defender and then dropped it off with the no-look. Shot clock down to 10 for Michael Hughes. Trying to back down Austin. Whips it out high for O'Connor from three. And that time, it goes for a three-pointer for Toby O'Connor. That's the final minute here of half number one. Duquesne now up by five. That's three fouls now for Kyle Rose. As Dunn Martin able to slip on through and count it. The main focal point of your opponent's scouting report. Teams are going after him. They're baiting him into fouls. He's got to learn to make that adjustment because he's too valuable down low on the interior. As you see him <laughs> getting deep real estate that position with the nice jump hook off the glass. Working on Weathers. Had to pick up the dribble. Able to launch a pass across. And they reset things for Austin. Three to shoot. Let's it go. Knocks it down. Here's Navarro. Got turned around by Weathers. Now he's double team. Weathers nearly stripped it away and forced the bad pass where it's grabbed by Hughes. Now Baker on the run. They give it back for Murphy. Dunn Martin had the open shot, gave it to Murphy instead, and now he puts it through from three. To the high post and then slide into the low post. You can't walk to the block and expect the defense, especially a good defense, to just allow you to catch it. Left hand is no good from Amari Kelly, but the follow-up try goes for Michael Hughes. Seven minutes to go in a one-point game. Atlantic 10 action here. First game of a triple header on NBCSN as Navarro. Soft lob in for Soriano, and he puts it back. And Fordham has the lead. Oh, has he just guided that one in? And sometimes you got to make it just that easy for the big fella. Fordham on the steal. Navarro up court. The follow-up is blocked. How about another one? And it falls for Jalen Cobb. To be in Weathers' discard. He guided it in. Fordham's 6-0 run has been answered by an 8-0 run for Duquesne over the last couple of minutes. And Soriano rejected by Michael Hughes. Well, I really thought Hughes got away with a goaltending here. We, we, we're going to see it from another angle, but I thought it was an excellent interior pass. Soriano didn't waste time. So he put it up high, but Hughes, excellent recovery. No, that was a good block. That was an excellent block. The timing was good. The energy was good. Hughes just made a big-time play. He gave help on one side and then came over and rejected it and got the block. That on the exchange for Jalen Cobb. Nice move and able to spin that one off the glass and in. Fordham needs the stop. The look from Dunn Martin, and he hit the three. Tavian.
champion Dun Martin with a huge three to make it a five point lead. It's a 12 3 run at this point for Duquesne down the stretch. The big shot to put it away for Dun Martin. It's amazing when I watch these Rams play. It's tough to imagine that this is only their third game, actually playing their fourth game today of the season. Soriano, though, count the basket at the end, I believe. And the final score is 48-45. Duquesne able to hold off the Fordham Rams.